Hey everybody, happy Friday. It's time for Facebook Friday. Hope you guys have had a great week. I'm excited about today's projects. I um, <laughs> have a hard time narrowing down what I want to do each week, but I decided to go with the Garden Birdhouses. It's a new stamp set in the annual catalog. Um, and I love it because we can color it with our blends and I love coloring with the stamp and blend. So hopefully you will enjoy these projects as well. Um, uh, let's see, I have the stamp set right here. I'm curious to know if anybody has already purchased this stamp set. I couldn't find any samples online, so I didn't see anybody with it yet. Um, but it's a good one. I like it. Okay. Let's see. Let me make sure I'm in the right place. I see you guys jumping on. Hello. Hi, Kathy. Good to see you guys. Hi, Yvonne. All right. All right, good. Let's see. Today has been one of those days. We leave for Maui tomorrow. And, you know, that's <laughs> really, it's really hard to focus today and get everything done. I am just excited and I don't want to work. <laughs> but I had a lot of things on my to-do list today. All right, let's see, make sure I'm in the right place. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but Hawaii has really strict travel um, uh, travel rules, I guess, because of COVID. You have to get a negative COVID test within 72 hours of the last leg of your trip. So for me, that was yesterday morning. And um, there, there's, I mean, it's super crazy. Like there's only specific places you can have your COVID test done. And at those specific places, it's only a specific kind of test. I mean, it's, it is is a lot. It is crazy. Um, but we went, my husband and I went, got it done, had the results back in like 45 minutes. And you know, you start to worry, like, what if I test positive? <laughs> you know, I have, I'm not even going to say it, knock on wood, vaccinated. But still, you just never know, right? So once we got those negative results, I started getting excited, right? Like I wasn't letting myself get excited until we could get past that. So then now today I'm all very excited and I have a ton of things to do. Um, but we're going to do Facebook Friday first. I wanted to do one more before we leave. Um, that means there will be a week without a Facebook Friday, which will be next week. Then I'll be back. So two weeks from today. Um, and I don't know what I'm going to do yet for the next one. I said I was going to do the hat, the baseball hat one this week. But I have, a, I have a story to tell you guys about that. Remember, I may have mentioned last week that I was looking for the base, baseball cupcakes. And I said they were Little Debbie. They were actually Hostess cupcakes. Couldn't find them anywhere. So I actually messaged Hostess <laughs> on Facebook. And they got back to me right away and said that those were discontinued. So I was really bummed because I thought how cute that would be to make a little box with a baseball cupcake. So anyways, I've put it off to the side. I already have made one card, but we'll see if I can find some kind of treat to go along with a baseball hat. All right, let's get started. Let me tell you a few things. You know what? I got the sweetest gift in the mail today. I just have to show you guys. Lois sent me an email and she said, I'm sending you a box, just a heads up. And she's done this before, but this one was amazing. I don't know if Lois is watching today, but she sent me, first of all, look at the card, how perfect, right? And she made this bag and it's so cute. It totally reminds me of like, like a boho bag. I don't know. She said it was perfect for the beach. You could throw your towel in there and it's so beautiful. Look at the colors. I just wanted to tell Lois again, I am so touched by this little bag. It's so cute. There's some other little goodies in here. There's a pen and a nail file. Just really thoughtful. So Lois, thank you. I will be taking that bag with me and I will be using it at the beach for sure. That just, I mean, I was so touched by it. It was just, it made today even more exciting. Um, who said Cracker Jacks? You know what? I actually have bought Cracker Jacks already because that I did think of that for the baseball hat. Um, but um, peanut sunflower seeds, Major League gum. I, yeah, I thought about those too. Um, cute baseball pins. Okay, all right, all right. Challenge accepted. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> you guys are full of great ideas. Um, let's see, where do I want to start? Okay, how about plentiful plants? I had like a to-do list 
that was literally like a billion things long. And I didn't think I was gonna get all of it done. And I didn't think that I would be able to start designing for June until I got back. Well, lo and behold, I got done real early. I worked my tail off and I got a lot of stuff done. So I got to get to the fun things that I love to do, which is design classes. Um, so next month's Club Create will feature Plentiful Plants, this one. And again, I'm surprised I am not seeing a whole lot. I'm seeing the peaches everywhere online. Obviously, that's all of our favorites. And if you see right there, I've started with that too. But I didn't finish, but I did get this finished. Um, Plentiful Plants is gonna be Club Create for June. Club Create is $39 a month. It includes about $20 in product. Usually, we have five projects, um, four cards and a 3D. This month, you guys, let me just show you. I got crazy. I could not stop designing with this bundle. It's so cute. So June Club Create will actually have six projects, six cards. Um, they're just so stinking cute. I don't wanna show them yet because I want you guys to be surprised when you get your club kit, but I did make a couple of extras that now I can't find that will be, that I'm gonna show on my blog next week and I can't find them. Are they not in here? These are these must all be all the club projects. Let's see, I'll show you one. The hanging plants, I mean, come on. With the little like macrame, isn't that what that's called? The little plant hanger? crazy cute crazy cute who said they hate peaches denise that's hilarious hate peaches so i can't get behind it said i love it that's totally fine you know it's it, everything's not for everybody and i and that's funny I, I because that is the one i'm seeing everywhere so june club create um registration is open now mary it um always goes from the eighth it opens on the eighth of the month and goes until the 7th of the month. So it opened May 8th and will close June 7th. And then they will ship around June 20th, June 21st. The club kits do not include the bundle, but I will give you that option to add it on if you need it. Um, and I pay the shipping and tax when you add a bundle onto Club Create. The other thing that you'll need for Club Create in June is the macrame embossing folder, which is so fun, it's perfect goes so well with this and then your club create kit let's see one two three four five and six you will get six make and takes and twenty dollars roughly in product in your club create kit and a video i even got the video filmed i can't i don't i don't know i got everything done i'm so proud of myself because I was going to be a little stressed worrying about coming back and trying to get everything planned in those last few days of may so anyway who knew? So Club Create is open. The link is right here. It's also at the t on the tab at the top of my blog that says Club Create. That's where you can subscribe. Um, when you subscribe, it's automatically going to bill you every month or, or charge your PayPal account or your credit card until you stop, until um, you cancel your subscription, which you can do at any time. There's no minimum commitment. If you just want to sign up for one month to try it, you totally can. Um, but if you stay for six months, you get a product reward, $25 in product of your choice, okay? All right, so there's that. I was so excited to tell you about Plentiful Plants because it's so cute. Um, okay, let me just run through. You know what, I think I'll flip you guys around. Let me, let me make room because I wanna show you some things over here. All right. You know, Mary, I don't know how I get it all done either you know I'm always just I, my whole life I've just been like a fast worker I'm fast at getting things done um when I was in school I was like that um when I was a teacher I was like that it's just in my nature you know everybody has different gifts <laughs> I think that's my gift of just getting stuff done it's just one of my things um and I I will tell you that I did work some evenings too my husband has started playing softball um, in the evenings on occasion. And so I take advantage of that time and I work. And you know, when I say work, I, I feel like none of this is work because it's so fun. Okay, let's run through the specials. Connect, craft, and collect. You get an extra $25 in Stampin' Rewards if your order is over $250. 
from now until the middle of June. If you don't want to spend over $250, I get it, that's a lot. You can get with a couple of friends, put your orders together, and um, then put them all together, and then your order will be over $250, and then you guys can split those Stampin' Rewards. So just a suggestion on that. Um, also, if you hosted a workshop or a class, um, but I'm not, I'm actually not doing any of those right now because of the craziness that's going on. Um, on the flip side of that, if you love Stampin' Up! and you buy a ton of Stampin' Up!, this is for you. You can buy the starter kit right now. It's $99. You get $155 in product. That's way more than what it normally is. And when I bought the starter kit, they would tell you, like, you can have two stamp sets, two ink pads. You're going to get this, that, this, that, this. Well, now they just say have at it, whatever you want for $155. Um, they, you can get suggestions if you want, but it's up to you. I mean, if you wanted to get the cut and emboss machine, if you wanted to get all stamps, if you wanted to get all inks, whatever you want, you could get in your starter kit. Um, then you'll get your discount 20% off all your purchases um, for at least the next, uh, I can't do the math, at least the next three months. I think it's actually longer than that. Um, you get my PDFs for free, you get my classes at a discount, you get early access to the holiday and celebration catalog coming out in July. Um, anyhow, I highly recommend taking advantage of this. I welcome everybody to my team, even if you are your one and only customer, we call that a hobby demo, hobby demonstrator. And I would say about 80% of my team are hobby demonstrators. And that is totally fine. You don't have to have a business. You don't have to do Facebook Live. You don't have to have a blog. If you just want to join to be a part of the group, to get a discount on your purchases, um, do it. There, I, I'm telling you, you will never regret it. If you have questions about that, let me know. There is a join tab at the top of my blog. I'll also add in the join link here when I am done with Facebook Live today. Oh, that one's already gone. The subscribe, subscribe -a on batters up. Did you guys get that? Oh, I can't wait. Um, the next one, hopefully you guys have seen, features that gorgeous paper, coordinates with that gorgeous paper in the annual catalog. I'll tell you more about that next time. This month's tutorial bundle is Ice Cream Corner, 12 tutorials by 12 different designers. And I said this last time, but this one, I think this may be the best one yet. It is awesome. It is gorgeous. It is fun. And look how clever. Um, so they're all videos. They have, there's links to videos for each one of them. They're done in metric and imperial measurements. You get it free when you spend $50 with me online. Um, you can also buy it in my PDF store for $15. And like I said, my team gets all my PDFs for free, including this one. This is my project this month. And as I'm telling you about this, I'm like, when, when was the last time I sent these out? I don't know. So I'm going to put it on my chair, send it out before I leave. Everybody who has spent $50 with me online gets this. I email it to you. I email them out about once a week. Um, so, um, you know, be patient with me. But if you feel like it's been too long and I haven't sent it to you, of course, send me an email and remind me. This uh, email still bounced. There was somebody who emailed me today about something and I replied back and it bounced right back. So I tried it again and it bounced right back and I tried it again and removed all the links in my signature and it bounced back. So sometimes my emails don't go through. So I will, it's not going to hurt my feelings if you reach out to me and say, Hey, hello, did you send this? Maybe say it nicer than that, but you know what I mean? Okay. Let's talk about while I am in Hawaii. So Typically, Facebook Friday is it's the same, okay? So from now until Monday at midnight, if you use this host code and your order is $35, I will send you the make and take pack of today's make and takes. Um, they look like this. You, you will need the birdhouse, garden birdhouses stamp set, ink and adhesive. I don't do any stamping. Um, I will send you a little tag, but that's it. Um, everything else, I'll have die cut, everything for you. Um... So that's normal, right? Okay, there's the host code. I, something went in my head and then popped out. What was I going to say about that? I don't know. But, okay, oh, oh, I know. Usually I cut these on Tuesday and ship them on Wednesday. Like, you don't have to wait very long. This time, obviously, you're going to have to wait till I get back from Maui. So it's going to take another at least a week and a half to get them, okay? So please be patient. So here's the deal. 
starting today, also, this host code is going to qualify you for a whole bunch of stuff. This is my thank you to you guys while I am in Maui. If you want to order anytime between now and May 25th, that's the day I come back, I'm going to send you a Stampin' Blends pack in the color of your choice for every $50 you spend. So if you spend $100, you're gonna get to choose two Stampin' Blends. If you spend $150, you're gonna get three sets. Now, also $50 is gonna get you that, where did it go? That PDF thing that I just showed you. You're gonna also get that. If your order is over $150, I'm also going to send you either one of the new Hostess stamp sets or half a pack of the gorgeous paper. Let me pull it out. This right here, okay? Half a pack of that. I'm gonna cut it in half. I may cut it in fourths, but I'm gonna try to ship them just like that. So that's over 150. The deal is you have to use the host code if you wanna take advantage of that. Usually I say, don't worry if your order's over 150, don't use a host code. But for this special, I need you to use the host code. Now here's the thing, if you put in your order, sometime in the next few days, there's, there's a little graphic on my blog. You'll see it on every post. There's a link there that takes you to a form so that you can tell me what colors you want and which host item you want. Okay, does that make sense? So if you put in an order between now and the 25th, make sure you click on that link and tell me what you want so that when I get back, I can order them right away and get them out to you. Okay, so this special goes from May 14th through the 25th. If you put in your order between today and Monday, you still qualify for all of this and the make and takes. But I'm gonna cut off the make and takes at mo Monday at midnight, okay? Does that make sense? You guys, it's a lot of like information and detail. Tell me if that makes sense. Every $50 gets you a blends and the PDF. $150 gets you a hostess item. If you put in that order before Monday at midnight, you're also gonna get the make and takes. Make sure you click the form to tell me what you want. Makes sense, right? Yes, I'll go over that again at the end. Okay, so there's that. Let me move out of the way. We are almost there. I've got prizes. What time is it? Okay, good. Um, last week, prizes, clear as mustard, Dancy. Uh-oh, that doesn't mean that's not good. <laughs> You can read it on my blog. I made a super cute graphic. Look, I even got some cute Hawaii clip art. So cute. It's all here. If you want clarification, email me, okay? Prizes from last week. How about Darcy Gray and Carol Koroleski? Carol Koroleski, the sweet ice cream bundle. Ladies, I won't get these out before I leave. I can tell you that. But please mail me, email me your mailing address so that I can get them out when I get back. All right, thank you so much for sharing my video. All you have to do to be entered to win a prize is share the video. I've got good ones this week, really good ones. Pansy Patch Bundle and the Forever and Always Bundle. This is from the Spring Catalog. And I had Facebook Friday Projects or designed for this way back in January and never got to it. So I'm gonna show those this week on my blog, hopefully, while I'm gone. Um, but this is one of these, this is the one that has the, the word dies, it's really good. So one of these, if you share the video, tell me in the comments which bundle you want to win, okay? And then I will pick winners in two weeks. All right, all you have to do is share the video. Share it wherever and then tell me you shared in the, in the comments. Thanks, ladies, but tell me which bundle you want, okay? I see you guys already sharing. You're so good. I already know. All right, we're there. We're here. We're ready. And I am already super thirsty. Okay, let me get ready. Let's get everything ready. Okay. Now, garden birdhouses. Raise your hand if you've already ordered garden birdhouses. Have any of you ordered it yet? Um, I am a sucker for these kind of stamp sets. Um, the kind that have 
black line images. That's what I call it, black line images, where you can color them. Um, I love to color with the Stampin' Blends. I used to not be that big of a fan um, with, that looks crooked, with um, coloring until we had the Stampin' Blends, and now I love coloring. So, um, that's what we're going to do today. We're going to start with a pretty simple card. Um, and we're going <laughs> to color these, these, uh, these, um, birdhouses several times. Okay. We're going to start with a pretty simple card and we're just going to start with a basic white card base. Okay. Basic white thick. Did you guys know we have two different kinds of white? We have regular white and then we have thick white and thick white is for your card bases. And I know some of you are like, I'm not buying white card stock from Stampin' Up. I'm going to get it cheap somewhere else. But I challenge you to buy our white card stock and then tell me that it's not a ton better than the cheap stuff because it really is. I know you don't want to spend your money on something like white card stock, but I'm telling you, it makes a huge difference. When I first started, that was me. I didn't want, I, I'm. I don't need to go buy expensive, beautiful cardstock from Stampin' Up. I've got cheap cardstock. And then I got my first stamp set and I tried to stamp. And it was awful. The stamps didn't stamp well, nothing. And I reached out to my demonstrator and she said, what kind of paper are you using? And she gave me some of her white. Sure enough, total difference. So I encourage you, order that white. All right, so here's the card we're going to make. I have a basic white scalloped, I'm trying to get some grid paper, hold on, scalloped rectangles. These are the new scalloped contour dies. Um, you've probably seen them all over Facebook, all over Pinterest. They are the best. They actually coordinate with a stamp set, which I'm just like, meh. <laughs> honestly about the stamp set but the dies are so good so so good okay um nope we're not gonna do that first we are gonna use how you know I think this is like the fourth or fifth week in a row we have used these blending brushes um I take last week's pdf and I duplicate it and then I change it all with this week's I do that every week and the stamp and blends have been on that pdf week after week after week so I can tell you that I love them. And you know what? By the way, I have to show you guys. I have to give you an update. Remember I bought this and I was like, my stampin' blend or my blending brushes are all touching each other. Well, somebody on here, and I don't remember who it was, suggested putting rice down in here. Look, and now I can just like arrange them and they're not going to touch each other. This is from Hobby Lobby. Whoever that was, thank you. What? I mean, something so simple, I didn't think about it. Okay, anyway, sorry. That was totally off the topic. I mean, I guess maybe it was kind of on topic. Okay, I see you guys saying yes to the white cardstock. I know, I was that person. I really was that person who did not want to spend the money on white cardstock. But I challenge you, I'm telling you. All right, we're going to start with Pool Party and, and our blending brush. And my pool party ink pad needs to be re-inked. So I'm not going to have too much trouble with this. Um, getting, you know, like too dark or setting it down and getting a dark color. If your pad is a little juicier, make sure that when you ink it up, you kind of rub, rub it on um, scrap paper first. Okay. So we've got a little bit of the sky there, just a little bit. We don't want it to be too dark because we're going to color on top of it. All right, now we're using Stampin' Blends, so we have to use Memento. The rice is a great tip, right, Peggy? Yes, I know. I don't know why I couldn't think of that myself. All right, we're going to do the branch across like this. Memento black. And then the, there's this little weird image right here. That's to hang your bird house. Hey, look guys, do you like my nails? I thought this one looks kind of like a Mai Tai. Maybe. I thought you guys would appreciate that. Got my beach nails ready. All right, this is the hanger. So we're gonna stamp that. Uh oh, mine's not really straight. All right, the wind is blowing, we'll say. The wind is blowing pretty hard. 
<laughs> and we'll put the birdhouse straight. All right, there we go. Now you can't really tell that it wasn't very straight. Um, okay, then the sentiment. Um, so glad you're here. And I was really kind of thinking about what you would use the sentiment for. Um, we've had a lot of movement in our cul-de-sac, a lot of people moving in and out. So I was thinking, you know, like a welcome to the neighborhood um, kind of deal. Um, also, like a new person at work, welcoming them. Um, a lot of possibilities with this. Um, eat, like church, too. I know um, our our church sends out, or they used to, I don't know if they still do, but they'll send out welcome, you know, cards to visitors. So that would be good. I forgot to show you on the inside. We're going to do a little something, something on the inside. I had to make it a little extra fancy. And let me grab that one. It's over here on this tray. We're going to stamp that on basic white. Okay. Okay. Now let's color in. All my blends are over here on the other tray, of course. So let me move things around just a tad because I'm using blends on all of them. All right, I decided to go with Real Red. Thank you, Pam. I decided to go with Real Red because I thought it would really kind of pop with that, that um, pool party. You know, when I made this card, this was the very first card that I made with the stamp set. I was worried that was too plain, too boring. And so I fancied it up on the inside. But the more I looked at it, the more I realized sometimes, you know, simple is best, right? Simple is best. So now I love it. And, you know, you could make this a single layer card by uh, leaving off this scallop, contour scallop, whatever it's called, this rectangle. And you could just stamp this right on the front of the card base. You could make a bunch, right? You could do that and then like sit in front of the TV and, and color them. So I went over it with light real red. Then I added some shadow underneath the roof and along those sides. I'm also going to add a little bit of shadow underneath the perch with the dark. And you know, I usually go back and blend that in, but I like the way that looks. I'm not going to do that. All right, let's do the roof in soft suede. Debbie, you got your club create today? Good, I'm glad. Boy, that was the thing I was worried about the very most, getting those done. I had 150 club create kits this month. That's the most ever, and I was really sweating it. Um, but I got them done. You know, where there's a will, there is a way for sure. All right. Soft suede, I'm not gonna put any, well, I guess we could do a little bit of shading like over here, just a little dark right there, maybe under those slats like that. Then I'm gonna take my soft suede and this branch really doesn't have space to color in, but I'm just gonna kind of run my um, soft suede marker over it to give it some color. Um, what color did I do the bird? Oh, blue. Okay. Now let's do soft succulent. And you know, I think I put on the supply sheet today, I think I put just jade. But this is our new in color soft succulent. It's a good, just kind of leafy green succulent color. I haven't started packing yet, you guys. I have like a giant pile of stuff in my room where I just keep like piling it on, piling it like, oh, okay, I wanna take this, I wanna take that. And the pile is huge. I'm gonna have to really like narrow it down. Um, oh, I hate packing, I hate unpacking, that's even worse. Um, one thing I wanna point out, this one actually did pretty good, but when I first stamped the this the first time, this wasn't very dark. So I took my basic black and colored that, that little hole in to make it darker. Now for our bird, we're gonna use um, Balmy Blue. Debbie, I love the blends too. Yeah, I love them so much. All right, so light, Balmy Blue, and then just a little dark under her um, wing. Then I'm gonna take my pool party, 
Let's move this out of the way. My pool party dark on the brush end and just flick some, some color there. All right, and there you have it. All right, now for that birdhouse on the inside, what color did I do it? Okay, I did pool party. So now I'm gonna color this in, light pool party. Now I know I'm gonna do some fussy cutting and I can already hear the groans of protest. But guys, these are straight lines. They're so easy to cut. All right? So I don't want to hear it from you complaining that you don't want a fussy cut. <laughs> if you don't want a fussy cut, you know what? That's totally okay. You don't have to. You can punch it out with a circle and nobody will care. I give you permission. All right, how about light... Soft suede. I think if you would, those of you that hate fussy cutting, if you would just keep doing it, you'll get better at it and you won't mind it so much. Right? Practice makes perfect. Or as one of my students taught me, practice makes progress. I like that. All right. Take less, not more. Peggy, it's like you know me. I am the worst. I will take, I will overpack and then I will feel like I didn't bring the right things every time. And I bought so many new clothes for this trip. And you know what? I ordered a bunch of things with the, with the intention of returning a lot of it, you know, like, so I don't have to go to the mall. I'm going to order all of this and then I'll keep just a few things and return them. But I ended up keeping a lot. Um, and so now I'm sure I have too much. I wanted to get some kind of tropical little dress, but I didn't find one. Maybe I'll find one when I'm there. All right. Now for the inside, I've got a four by five and a fourth inch um, piece of basic white. And you know what? I don't know why I put this on a piece of basic white. I don't remember why. You can just do this on the inside of the card if you want. This is um, the Real Red Designer Series paper from the Regals pack. I'm gonna snip that off, it's just a half inch strip. And then I'm gonna take my, I guess we're calling this a post, right? A, it looks red, I don't know why it looks like that. A, um, you know, the, the stick. <laughs> <laughs> the pole that the birdhouse is on. I'm going to stamp it right there. And I'm going to take my brown and just kind of color that in. Okay. And where are my dimensionals? Come on. Why do they have to be all the way in the back? Um, did somebody answer that question about adding the bundle to Club Create? I sent an email out right around the beginning of the month with that link for that add-on bundle. When you register, it won't be there. I will send you an email for that. Okay, now just some little flowers and just kind of in memento, like they're like a shadow. Like I don't really want them to have a whole lot of detail. Okay, now we're almost there. Let's put it inside. And I've never done this before, but I am gonna put dimensionals on this piece on the inside. You know, I didn't have enough layers on the front, so I had to make it a little bit <laughs> thicker. But I gotta use that extra stamp, you know. All right, so there's the inside. And then on the outside, we are going to, oh, Lisa, you just ordered this set, perfect. I'm gonna give you three ideas today and then a bonus one on Monday. And then we're gonna put this on the front with dimensionals. And last but not least, you guys know what's coming. We gotta have a bow. And linen thread is perfect for this. There we go. All right, so I know lots of you have been to Maui before. And if you are new, I'm going to 
Maui tomorrow on the Stampin' Up! incentive trip. Um, I'll be there for about nine days. Super, super excited. Hawaii's been on my bucket list for a very long time. And I, this is, this is the, this is the time finally getting to go. So if you've been to Maui, I would love some suggestions. Look how cute that is. I would love some suggestions, restaurants, things to see, things not to do, you know, all that. All right, card number one is done. Let me move some of this out of the way. And we're going to move on to a card that is the opposite of this. A card that has lots of layers, all right? And I'm going to show you a die that you may have missed in the catalog because it's not a bundle. It's just a die. It's called the Stitched Greenery Die. Can you guys see that? It is so cool. Look at it. It's real big. And you just lay it down and you run it through and it just puts those stitch lines. I think it is so, so beautiful. So we're gonna use that too. Let's do all of our stamping first because this card has a lot of stamping. All right, we're gonna stamp three birdhouses and one of them we're gonna stamp over on the other page, like a, another piece of paper so we can cut it out and pop it up. Now, I want you to notice how kind of soft this is because that's because I stamped off each time. So we're going to do that as well. Um, let's see. I need to clean this real quick. Thanks, guys. I'm glad you like it. Um, oh, <laughs> uh, my husband's going with me. The kids are not. They are staying with Grandma. And, you know, it's a really poor time of the year to be leaving. I'm missing a lot of things. My daughter's a senior. I'm missing a couple of senior things. My other daughter is being confirmed. <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's, a uh, it's, it's a touchy subject, but we'll survive. Grandma lives one mile away, so it'll be fine. Okay. So the pole, the post, stamping it in soft suede and stamping off on my grid paper so that it'll be light. I'm going to do it low on those two sides and then in the middle I'm going to raise it up a little bit. Okay. Um, let's see. Now let's do the bird houses. Did I leave that one over there? I did. Okay. And remember we're going to stamp off. I normally don't stamp off with memento black but I really wanted it to be much lighter. I didn't want it to be real bold. Okay, so it almost looks gray. And then we'll do the tall bird house over here. This one, make sure that you put your pole all the way down because if you put up a little bit higher, that house is not going to fit on this paper. Now we'll take the third and final bird house stamp off and stamp on that. Okay, uh, let's see. Now I'm gonna do, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm gonna do <laughs> the, where is my ink pad? It's only the second project. I don't use usually lose stuff until the third project. Where is it? Oh, it's on the other, it's on the other tray. Okay, just jade. Let's see, do I need to clean that? Yes, for sure. Let's clean that. <laughs> Pam, you are not the first person to ask me to, to sneak you in my suitcase. I wish I could. The pineapple tour is fabulous. That sounds excellent. My husband loves pineapple. And your daughter's being confirmed too, Wendy? Yeah. What a weird confirmation year they've had here. All right. Just Jade. Stamp off. Stamp. Again, all the way across. They usually, my other two, um, we go to a Methodist church, and my other two did confirmation all year long. Every Sunday, they had a class. They could not miss more than, I think it was like three. But this year, because of you know, you know who, they didn't get to do all that. They, she went once a month, to an evening, I don't know, it was just kind of, I don't know, 
sad. I feel like she's missed out on a lot of things, of, of learning that she would have gotten otherwise. Um, and she's the one that probably, <laughs> probably needed the, the year-long class anyway, because she's she has a hard time slowing down to listen, um, especially at church. She's very wiggly. Even at 12, she has a hard time. All right, this first house is going to be pool party. Do whatever colors you like. I am using my three, pretty, pretty much my three favorite colors. Coastal Cabana would be my, my most favorite blue, really, but we don't have salmon blends for Coastal Cabana. So pool party is a close second. And then we are gonna do Flirty Flamingo. The Road to Han Hana, or Hannah, however you say it, Nancy. Yeah, we've got that on our list. We're actually renting a car. Um, I'm a chicken when it comes to heights. And so I had heard that it was super scary, but then I started reading about it and I think it'll be fine. Um, I, I, I We can't miss that. My husband's actually been to Maui twice when he was a kid. They, his parents are scuba divers and they went two different times. So he kind of knows, of, you know, the things like that to do, but you know, I'm sure there's a lot that's changed since then. All right, Flirty Flamingo Light. And then for this one, I'm adding just color underneath those slats like that. Okay, and then I am gonna blend that in. I feel like sometimes the blends, the dark and the light are really close and sometimes they're not really close. And this is one of those that I feel like you need to really blend that in because that's such a significant difference. Okay, now for this house, we're gonna use a new color, Fresh Freesia. Thanks, Twyla. Yeah. Hawaii is amazing. Jessica, yeah, we've already got the Dramamine for sure. Uh, my husband's the one that gets car sick and he'll be driving, so I think he'll be okay. But uh, I, I, did, I did read that for sure. One thing I'm a little bit worried about is I haven't gotten very much sun this spring. You know, we have the boat and we have not had one single weekend to be able to go out and be in the sun. And I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to fry, you know, while I'm there, hopefully... I was trying to, I don't know about you guys, but I always get a real, like a summer at the beginning of the summer. And then my skin is like, oh, oh yeah, I forgot. This is what we're doing. And then from then on, I'm good. And not, I'm not talking about a bad summer. Just like, you know, like a, you know, <laughs> my skin's been in the dark all winter. Um, but I, this year, I'm, we just didn't have a chance. So I hope I'm going to try to be really good about the sunscreen. But you just know, you know, when you're in the sun for days and days and days on end, it's a little tricky. All right, Fresh Freesia. How many of you love Fresh Freesia? It's become a very, very popular color. You know what? I colored that door Fresh Freesia. All right, now it looks kind of weird so far. I know. Don't worry. We're getting there. Now we're gonna do light. My voice keeps getting quiet, Cliffy. I wonder why that is. Anybody else getting that too? I'm doing light crumb cake here. Adding in a little bit of shadow right here and underneath and over here. Hey guys, by the way, I know that you can't see real close on Facebook Live, I have done clean recordings of all three of these videos where I zoomed in so you can see coloring. I know sometimes it's easier to see how someone colors something um, before you do it. So those are already on YouTube. They're linked on today's blog post right under each photo. Hopefully they're all up. I got them all done today. All right, I'm just gonna add a little dark there under those shingles. Blend it in. Maybe I move away from the speaker. Yeah, you know what? I have to bend down to color. Maybe that's probably why. Because today's a lot of coloring. A lot of bending down. 
I prefer to sit when I color. And so during Facebook Live, I stand up. Okay, we're almost there. Hello, Mac. Boy, let me tell you, when I was filming videos this morning, these yahoos barked more than they have ever barked. Drives me crazy. And then I don't even know what they're barking at. They think they see something outside. All right, let's color in these posts with soft suede. All the way down. Can you guys hear that squeaking? Is that bothering you? I'm sorry. Squeaky marker. Okay. Now, last but not least, I'm going to take my flirty flamingo and just, you know, these um, flowers are kind of vague. <laughs> They're not real crisp, the lines. So I'm just adding in little pops of um, flirty flamingo on those flowers. Okay, fussy cutting again. If you don't want to fussy cut, then you can stamp your birdhouses all flat. You're gonna to need to make your white piece a little bit whiter than what I have. But that is a perfectly reasonable solution if you don't wanna do this fussy cutting. Just make your white piece a little bit whiter and stamp them all flat. Okay, now we need a dimensional right here. So I am going in and out. Hmm, Cliffy, I'm sorry. There we go, right there. Okay, let me hold that up a little bit closer so you guys can see. All right, a lot of coloring today, a lot. Okay, let's put this on a soft suede um, mat. And I'm, looks like I, no, don't fall, don't fall. Looks like I cut it a little bit. All right, need to cut it, it's a little bit too long. There we go. The other day while I was designing my plentiful plants class, I dropped a die back behind the table and it was one of the dies that I use like almost every card. I could not find that die to save my life. My daughter came in, we pulled out the table, we pulled out the card, we pulled out everything, couldn't find it, couldn't find it, couldn't find it. Finally, I realized it had hit the floor and bounced up into, I have a little, you know those little carts from um, Ikea, it has little shelves have that there and it bounced up into that cart. I was almost in a panic because I needed to film the video and I needed that, <laughs> that guy. Oh. Okay, we're gonna cut this little zigzag right here with these and I actually have two, two sets of these. You So you won't get, if you buy these dies, you only get one of each. Because of the way I do my class kits, I have extra dies. Um, and then I've already cut out this right here. We've been using this die almost every week too, this little label. And we're gonna do that stitched greenery. All right, let me bring this over. Let me grab that stitched greenery. Now, I'm just gonna do it right on my card front, okay? So I'm gonna line up the top of that die with the fold in my card right there and then just run it through. And it's pretty tight. It's a pretty solid die, so you gotta use your muscles. And ta-da! Isn't that cute? I hope they come out with more dies like this with different patterns. Maybe they'll come out with a buffalo check one stitching. That would be cute. Oh wait, I forgot, we have to cut another thing. We have to cut our zigzag. Now, I will tell you those dies, one reason I bought two sets is so that I could do this. Now, yes, you could do this with just one set, but if you take two and you do like that, can you guys see that? Then you can cut out like Rick Rack. You can do it with one, sure, because you could run it through and then move the other one over. You could, but it's just easier with two. But we're not gonna worry about Rick Rack today. We're just gonna cut out a zigzag line from Flirty Flamingo. And the good thing about these dies is they have stitching on both sides. So both sides of this cardstock you could use, either one. All right, so see how both sides have stitching. You know, 
Let me ask you your thoughts on this. I love this die so much. However, I get, you know, it was designed so that you could stamp the one big stamp and then cut them all at the same time. But I think I would get more use out of it if they were separated. Do you guys think I could snip these apart? I know. I don't know if I could actually get myself to do it. I mean, you'd need some like metal. It's pretty thin, some uh, like wire cutters or something. <laughs> Because I could buy another one and have this one like this, and then the other one could just be loose. I don't know. I, you know, I've cut up, I cut apart my stamps all the time. But then the other day I was thinking, what if I, because honestly, for me, prepping Facebook Friday kits and class kits, it's very hard to cut 150 of these when you have um, this large die. I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's finish this card. I have a piece of the Bloom Where You're Planted designer series paper, and I'm going to put that across here. You guys, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear Pepper. My daughter bought, well, I bought these. She sent me this video. Where's my twine? She sent me this video of this dog that the, the well, I don't know what I did with the twine, the other twine. I have this, but that's not the one I used. All right, well, we'll use this one. I use the basic twines, not the linen thread. Anyway, she sent me this video of this dog that they have trained. They have all these buttons that say words, and they treat, they train the dog. I mean, the dog had like 20 buttons, and the dog would step on the buttons to tell them what he wanted. And so we ordered them, a set of them. They're like designed for the classroom, actually, um, for speech therapists, I think. And they were like real cheap on Amazon. And so we made one that says cookie and one that says walk. And let me tell you, Pepper learned that button so fast. She is in there right now pounding on the cookie button. She wants me to come in there and give her a cookie. At dinner when we're eating, she's pounding on that button. Cookie, cookie, cookie. <laughs> We've created a monster. It's funny. The other two dogs just kind of look at it like, huh? You definitely can't teach an old dog new tricks. Because they're like, you yeah, know, mm -mm. I'm just going to stare at you until you give me a cookie. All right, one last thing. We're going to stamp the sentiment. It says birthday wishes. Right there on that label that I, that I cut. Um, so, hey, Lois, I hope you were here at the beginning when I shut off your beautiful bag. Um, so you think I could use paper snips? Um, or 10 snips, but your dies might be sharp. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm You are correct. Man, I wish that we could have an option. Like, yes, I want them all stuck together, or no, please separate them. Hmm. I don't know. It's an experiment. We'll have to try. And done. Cute. Oh, looks like I used a different color ink this time. No, I use soft suede. Maybe I used... I don't know. Anyway, there you go. What do you guys think? Cute, right? So this one, simple one, simple layer. This one, 100 layers, fussy cutting and <laughs> all kinds of stuff. Both are fun. I think both are fun. All right. Let's see. Um, Cricket, we trained our dog to hit a bell to go outside. Once that broke, we didn't replace it. Now he hits the door stoppers. That's funny. My mom's dog does that too. She rings that, that bell all day long. Die grinder for sharp edges. Huh, Denise. I'm going to have to see. I'm going to have to figure out what that is. I think I know what you're talking about. Watch Dawn, her tutorial. I don't know what that means. Um, wire cutters, Karen. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to experiment. Although, oh, side cutters would work, Carol. I don't know what those are. I'm going to have to look those up. Um... I should have done a twine button for Carla. That is hilarious. You guys, Pepper loves twine. And she will get my twine from my drawer on the bottom and take them and shred the plastic bag and then just pull the twine apart. She doesn't eat it. She just pulls it apart. This week, it's funny that you should say that because I have moved my twine so she cannot get it. Yes, I'm talking about you. And um, I... 
have ordered all the ribbon and stuff for my ribbon chairs because my um, assistant Denise is going to work on that while I'm gone. And I had it sitting in a box on the floor. And I wasn't paying any attention to her. And she kept coming in here and trying to get my attention. I was working. And then I realized she was making a lot of noise. She had gotten six of those, the gold and silver twine that are in the same bag, and torn them up. There was, there was I guess it's not twine. There was cording, cord, and plastic everywhere. She was so proud of herself. And I was so mad. <laughs> oh, that dog. It's a good thing you're cute. Yes, it's a good thing. Okay. She thinks I'm talking to her. All right, let's do this box. And I think that this box would be, make a great neighbor treat. Like I mentioned at the beginning, like welcome to the neighborhood. These are our new scalloped. Pepper, I am working, baby. These are our new scalloped craft treat boxes. And they come, like you don't have to actually make the box, which we love, right? The easy button here. Um, so I'm going to show you how to put these together and then we're going to make the tag. Ouch, baby, don't. She's scratching me. All right, let me show you the bat, the box. I have once again worked myself into a tiny little square here. Okay. Here is the box. It comes like this, two pieces. And um, one is the bottom and one is the lid. I always get it confused because they look very similar. This is the lid, the one that has the scallop. <laughs> no, I cannot play with you right now. I'm working. She's going to bark at me. She's very demanding, this one. All right, burnish those lines. And then these little flaps, they fold in like that. <laughs> and then the, this tucks in. So there's the lid, okay? So easy. Then this, this is easier than the, the little matchbox, what are they called? Love You Always boxes in the spring catalog. This is way easier than that. Hush, hush. There, so then there's the bottom and the top. Okay, easy peasy. Now, we're gonna wrap some designer series paper. Again, this is the party pattern, party, party, what's it called? I suddenly forgot, pattern party. And it's only available as a stamp and rewards. If you put your order in with me this week, 150, this is, I'm gonna send you half a pack of this. Now this paper, this is gonna be a belly band. Pepper, enough, stop. You know what, let me give them a little cookie. No, she'll go away, hold on. I usually give them their Kong balls today and I didn't. Okay, there, now, go. There you go, boys. Here, there you go, there you go, now, shoot. Pepper has started taking Charlie's bones away too. She's she, she's bad. Um, okay, so then fold this around. A belly band, if you don't know what a belly band is, it's a band around a box or card that just slides off. And you'll notice that it doesn't it doesn't fit. When I made this, I wasn't sure what direction I was going in. So I did this step, which I think you could probably skip and just use the circle, but I'm gonna show you what I did. I just punched out a uh, scalloped rectangle. What's it called? A, um, my words are escaping me suddenly. I'm looking for something. Here it is. A, it's the postage, the scalloped, the post rectangle <laughs> postage stamp punch. Oh, words are hard. Okay. I'm gonna put dimensionals on either side of this, like this, and just connect them like that. Uh, Pepper's bark is cute, Karen. It's cute until it's nut, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, she is, and I know I've created, I've created the monster myself. She's very demanding. And um, we spoiled her and now we are paying the price. Um, okay, let's do our die cutting. I am using um, these dies. What are these called? I forget. Um, they're the beautiful tree dies, okay? So we're gonna use the tree and then the leaves. And I'm gonna need to clean that out. Um, so we're gonna cut the tree out of the In Good Taste Designer Series paper, the wood grain. Perfect, right? And then we're gonna cut the leaves out of Just Jade. I've been using Just Jade a lot lately. It's a really good green. As you can see, it's all in my, my machine. 
All right, let's put that there and that there and run it through. I'm gonna run it through twice because there's a lot of cutting surface within these dies. It has to cut out those holes. Uh-oh, that one slipped, so I'm not gonna run that one twice. But this one specifically, I'm gonna run through twice. She is Heidi. She's like, lady, I hear you talking. And you're not looking at me, but you're talking to me. <laughs> I know, I always wonder what they think. Mommy's a weirdo. All right, there we go, scoot that over. And I cut out just a basic white circle. This is the largest circle in the layering circle dies. And I should have thought ahead and put adhesive sheets on the back, but I did not. So we're just gonna go with a little bit of Tombow. And we're gonna put this other thing on with dimensionals, which is gonna hold this tree in place anyway. So you don't really need to worry too much about the glue. Um, for the tree, we're gonna use many dimensionals. Harriet, that's so sweet, thank you. Sometimes, not so much. I, I throw a lot of things away, things that I'm like, oh yes. I In fact, I'll tell you, I really wanted to use the chalk pastels because I'm very excited about those. And I really tried to use them with the stitched greenery dye and it just did not, it would not come out. I, it just was not right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna still work on that, but uh, you know, you only see the best things. <laughs> I'm glad you like them. Thank you. All right, so put that down with many dimensionals. Okay, one more birdhouse. We're gonna color one more birdhouse, and we're gonna do the bigger one, the deluxe birdhouse the larger family and yep we're gonna go back to flirty flamingo all the way down this time I'm not gonna color the door I'm gonna color that with crumb cake to match the roof hey you guys have any of you had trouble getting gas this week I cannot believe that you guys, I, you know, I've told you, I'm a news junkie. I love watching the news. And the gas shortage, dun, 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 as my daughter would say. Have you guys up there on the East Coast had trouble? You know, we're here in Texas, luckily. We did, have not had to deal with that. But I will tell you, during, I think it was Hurricane Harvey, there was two weeks where we could not get gas. All the gas stations were out of gas. So I know what that is like. It's very frightening, actually. Crazy, crazy. This, I mean, you know, it's like one thing after another lately. Just one thing, like, I saw a meme on Facebook that said, I sure do miss precedented times, you know, because people say, these are unprecedented times. <laughs> I sure miss precedented times. Yeah, I think we're all there. I'm ready to be, you know, bored. There's, there's nothing newsworthy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. What, Terry, no, your son can't get home from college in North Carolina because he cannot get gas. <gasps> is he upset or is he like happy? He's like, oh, it's fine, I can stay here for a while. I know you probably are upset. That's ridiculous. So what's the outlook? Um, do they expect it to, I mean, because you know they're saying it's flowing, do they expect it to be better here in the next few days? I cannot imagine. We just filled up our vehicles right before that happened, but when we went by the gas stations, they were packed. Oh, Pam, no gas along the entire Grand Strand of South Carolina, none. We filled my car just minutes before the town went dry. Oh my God, doesn't it feel so weird? So weird. What is happening? Oh, crazy, 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 crazy. On Tuesday, none of the stations in the town had gas. Luckily, I don't. I am on total empty. I was thinking about that yesterday. I should have stopped to get gas. We are fine here, but you never know. People go crazy and start, you know, hoarding gas or whatever. Um, I gotta have a little bit. Um, he's ready to come home, but they expect to be a bet to be better in a week. So he does want to come home. Poor kid. That stinks. All right, this punch. This is the first time I've used this punch. 
this is, um, oh, I can't remember the name. It's got a fun name. Let me look. Hold on. I have it on the list. Treasured Tags. Pick a punch. Treasured Tags. Yep. Very nice. So I punched both ends. You know, these, we've got several of these punches where it has two different ends um, that you can put, and it has three different sizes here, a uh, half inch, three quarter inch, and one inch that you can slide in there. Really fun. I don't use mine nearly enough. Better get, <laughs> better get some toilet paper too. Yep. Gas is the new toilet paper. Oh God. You know, I think that's probably part of the problem is that we all are still like, nervous because we went through the whole toilet paper debacle so as soon as someone says something's in short supply we all panic <laughs> right and go go get it even though we don't need it um that's probably a lot of what's happening okay so i stamped that welcome in early espresso this in just jade i'm also going to stamp a little bird right here right here like that this bird <laughs> he's too tiny to fussy cut i mean really too tiny so i had to figure ways for us to use him without fussy cutting him and so having him sit on the words worked out pretty well um this happened years ago in north carolina gas was five dollars oh my god Oh my gosh. Search stage. Yeah, that's the problem. When you need um when you need gas, you can't drive around to look for gas, right? It's ridiculous. Hey, you know who said that? Kathleen. On top of that Memphis bridge has a break in it. So Kathleen, my I'm from Memphis. Um, I was actually born there, but I grew up here in Texas. My parents are from Memphis. Um they grew up in Memphis. So we, I grew up going to Memphis all the time. And then up until last year, my parents lived in Memphis. They had moved back after I got married. And so I have been across that bridge, the I-40 bridge, right? I have been across that many times. So that bridge has a crack in one of the, the trusses, I think they said, and they've closed it down. That's a major, major bridge. I can't even imagine. <sighs> Let's just hope the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man doesn't show up. <laughs> All these crazy things. I'm going to cut that a little bit shorter. There we go. Do you guys know that reference? Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Come on. I know you know it. Ghostbusters. I'm a child of the 80s. You know, once you see that Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man, things are real bad. <laughs> things are bad. Okay, we're almost there. Did you see how I snipped that tree off the bottom of the circle? Because I just didn't like the way it looked hanging down. It's okay. You still get it that it's a tree. Now I'm pulling out some ribbon that is from the last annual catalog, but luckily it carried over. You guys know me and my gingham, my check. I've got to have it. So this is the Just Jade gingham ribbon. I bet, Twilight, yeah, I bet it was scary. Um, the West Seattle Bridge is also closed and has been for over a year. Christine, I had not heard that. That's crazy. Wow. Um, oh, I was thinking of something. Oh, Lois, yes. Lois said, did you see those people putting gas in um, plastic bags? I saw that yesterday, and I just, I don't get it. I don't get why someone would think that that would be okay. And does, wouldn't the gas dis, make the bag disintegrate? Have you guys seen that? You need to look it up on YouTube. People are filling up like grocery bags with gasoline. It is insanity. All right, done. How cute. Welcome. So glad you're here. Okay, so let's think of reasons you could use this. Neighbors, right? Um, church. Um, new, like when I was teaching a new teacher, um, all kinds of really like just welcoming. And, you know, I followed this girl on Instagram. She's always talking about hospitality and how hospitality doesn't have to be complicated. And this would be a really simple way to be hospitable to people, right? In a 
unprecedented year, I think we all need to step up our hospitality a little bit. I don't know. I think it's cute. Maybe what, four or five cookies would fit in there? Not too many. Um, not It wouldn't take up too much. It could also just be a treat for like a party. So glad you came. I don't know. I like them. I like these boxes. I think they'll be great at Christmas time. Okay, we've made it. And again, I'm just going to say I can't get finished in an hour. You guys know I can't. We made that. We made this cute little card, the simple card. And then we made the super layered complicated card like that. A baby. That's a good one. Welcome. So glad you're here. That would be a cute one. Yes, Terry. Very cute. Um, this is the card I'm going to show you on my blog on Monday. It's simple also. White and just a white circle. And look, I kept the house brown. All right, so be looking for that. Um, let's real quick, once again, talk about what's coming up this week. There will be no Facebook Friday. Next Friday, I'll be in Hawaii. I'll be posting pictures on Facebook for you guys, if you want. Um, I know before I earned the incentive trip, I loved to see everybody's pictures um, when they were on the incentive trip. So I will share. Um, this, let me remind you, your order to get the make and takes has to be $35. And it has to be in Monday by midnight. If your order is over $50, then you also get to take advantage of this. Free stamp and blends for every $50 you purchase. Um, your, you get the May tutorial bundle. And if you spend over $150, you also get to pick out, I'm trying to do two things at once. You also get to pick out um, a host stamp and a uh, host reward. Uh, stamp and reward, you know, the stamp sets in the back of the catalog. I'm going to show you real quick on my blog. So today's post, now here's the picture right here of what I was talking about. If you put in your order and you want to take advantage of this, come over here and click this. Make sure to fill out this form right here. It's going to ask you your name, the date you ordered, your mailing address, and then what color stamp and blends you want. And if you're over 150, here are your choices for the, the, stamp, the stamp and rewards. Prince and Princess, Better Places, Natural Textures, half a pack of that party, Pattern Party Designer Series paper. So please fill that out. Don't email me. Fill that form out um, so that I know what you want and have it done before I get back so I can order those things for you as soon as I get back. Okay, so make and takes on top of this until Monday. Then after Monday, all of this still okay but make and takes cut off on monday so make sure you get your order in by monday if you want those make and takes okay you guys i hope you have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful week um please say a prayer that all the stamina of demonstrators can manage this covid thing with hawaii it's very stressful i know first world problems but let me tell you it's scary because if you get there if you're not vaccinated, when you get there, you have to take a second COVID test in the airport. So you can imagine what the line is going to be like in the airport. And if you test positive there, you then have to quarantine for 10 days in a hotel, not our hotel, but in a hotel that they specify at your own expense. So it's very frightening. It's, you know, it's scary. Luckily, they've changed it. If you're vaccinated, you can bypass that line. But still, anyways, oh, fingers crossed that everybody gets there and you know, gets to enjoy and reap the rewards of what we've earned. Anyway, <laughs> you guys have a wonderful week. Please know that I will be checking email, but I'll be slow to respond probably. Um, and I'll be back on the 25th and um, Facebook Friday, the following Friday. Okay, you guys, thank you so very much. And I will talk to you in a couple of weeks. Bye.